Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you a really cool tool that I want you to know about. It's a rigid faucet and sink installer, and one of our community members, Adam, asked me to do a tutorial on how to remove supply lines, faucet supply lines. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the rigid faucet and sink installer tool to do that, and some other cool things if you're working in the bathroom, all right? So stay tuned, I think you're really, really gonna like this tool. This is the rigid faucet and sink installer tool. If you're doing any kind of plumbing work in your bathroom, especially with the sink or toilet, you need this bad boy. So the silver insert that I'm pointing to here is for shutoff valves. You slip it over the shutoff valve handle and you turn it counterclockwise to turn it on and clockwise to turn it off. This is particularly good if you've got an old shutoff valve and the handle is kind of stuck just won't move and you need to get a little bit of leverage on it but just be careful don't don't break that handle with the rigid faucet and sink installer tool so our home repair tutor community member Adam asked how do you remove these supply lines without removing the sink from the vanity cabinet we'll turn the silver attachment over and there'll be grooves in it that will fit over the nuts of the supply lines just make sure that that silver insert is the open end is aligned with the open end of the orange tool. And as you can see here, there are those grooves that will fit over the nuts of the supply line. So slip the orange rigid faucet and sink installer tool over the supply line and onto the nut and turn it counterclockwise to loosen the supply line. It's really that simple. It's awesome. I used to use a basin wrench for this, which is a good tool, but the, the faucet and sink installer tool is way better. So as you can see here, the nut of the supply line fits into the tool and the supply line itself goes through the opening of the orange part of the installer tool. So that's pretty sweet. And if you want to put the new supply line back on, you just thread it onto the bottom of the faucet by hand. You hand tighten it and you slip the tool over the supply line and turn it clockwise to tighten down on that nut. Really, this is really awesome. It makes your life a lot easier. So especially if you cannot remove the sink in your particular situation. Well, what do you do if you've got these nuts on the bottom of your faucet? Well, the, the nuts themselves have these, these little grooves in them, uh, these little grooves that will fit down into the slot of your rigid faucet and sink installer tool. So remove the silver attachment and you'll want to figure out what slots in the orange tool will fit over the grooves of the nut. So there are two different ends to the orange tool. If one end doesn't work, flip it over and try the other slots. So there you go. There the nut fits into the slots of the tool and you can just turn it counterclockwise to remove that nut. Pretty, pretty sweet. I'm telling you, this works great. Now what about supply lines to your toilet? Supply lines to the toilet also have grooves in them typically. And what you can do is put the silver insert back into the tool and make sure the open end is is aligned with the silver open end of the attachment then slide the the grooves of the supply line down into the silver attachment of the rigid faucet and sink installer tool make sure the supply line goes down through the the groove of the orange part of the tool and you're all set now we're working in the bathroom this attachment here is for the base for attaching basins in your kitchen sink we're not going to deal with that right now but what you can do is slide it up underneath the tool put it into the tool and there's a hole in it that you can put a screwdriver into and this will give you leverage on really stubborn supply lines or shutoff valves and, and that's a really good thing if you've got an older bathroom so there you go that's another great attribute well, there you go. That is the rigid sink and faucet, or wait, faucet and sink installer tool. I think you're really, really going to like it, especially if you have to install a new faucet and you don't want to take the sink off the, the basin or off the, the vanity cabinet. So 
Check out this tool. It's only 20 bucks at your local home store. I already did a giveaway for one of these bad boys, so uh, I'm not going to do another one because it was just a few weeks ago. But stay tuned. You know, sign up for the YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way, if I do have a giveaway, you'll know about it. And head on over to homerepairtutor.com. Sign up for the email newsletter because sometimes I do things that I don't do on YouTube and I want you to stay posted on those really cool items. So have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.